I mean, the ultimate goal for gamers is complete immersion, right? But until VR headsets like the Oculus Rift work out all the kinkiness, excuse me, kinks, the next closest thing is still triple screen gaming or surround gaming in general, which has traditionally been pretty hard to achieve, even though we've had the capability for some time, as you need a lot of processing horsepower in order to drive that many pixels all at once while still maintaining decent frame rates and turning up the settings in your games. However, with the advent of NVIDIA's Maxwell architecture, so fast GPUs and G-Sync monitors, it's now a little easier than it used to be. Club 3D's MST Hub can run three monitors off one display port. No daisy chaining required. Click now to learn more. So in the past, you could expect to spend upwards of $800 in graphics cards on something like a 7990 or a pair of GTX 780s in order to get high quality smooth gameplay out of three monitors. And even then, screen tearing could easily ruin your gaming experience. Vertical sync is supposed to alleviate this, but very, very often it creates additional problems like more lag or noticeable frame dips unless you can achieve that 60 FPS exact mark in order to make it, well, work correctly, because otherwise what it's going to do is it's going to drop all the way down to 30, because it has to be in an even multiple. This is where NVIDIA G-Sync comes in. By adapting your monitor to a variable refresh rate, according to how quickly your GPU can spit out new frames, you completely eliminate screen tearing, and you eliminate that lag that comes along with V-Sync without any kind of decrease in performance, and it actually looks more natural to the eye at lower frame rates as well. So the monitors we're using today are Ben Q's new XL 2420G gaming monitors, which feature 24 inch 1920 by 1080 TN panels, one millisecond greater Gary response times, 144 hertz refresh rates, and a hybrid engine mode, which allows you to switch between NVIDIA G Sync and then Ben Q's own display processor if you don't want to use G-Sync for whatever reason. This also gives you the capability to have other inputs like DVI because G-Sync only works over DisplayPort. So if you're familiar with BenQ's other gaming monitors, then there shouldn't be any surprises here. There's a three-way adjustable stand, headphone hook on the back, sturdy carrying handle on the top, and an assortment of touch buttons on the right hand side. That also, see look at that, when I move my hand near they light up. Well whatever that one did. You get the point. Uh, so those are touch sensitive buttons and this is all pretty Pretty much the same. All three of these monitors are being powered by just two gigabyte GTX 970s. So that's three by 1080p. Now one downside of G-Sync is that it only works with DisplayPort, as I mentioned before, and some GTX 970 designs will not allow you to hook all three monitors up to one card, but luckily Gigabyte does use a design that has three DisplayPort outputs per card, so we're able to drive this with just two cards. Otherwise, another option would be to run three cards and plug one monitor into each of them, but that's not necessarily something that I would recommend personally. Three-way SLI, uh, it doesn't always scale really, really well. Now, we actually could run these three monitors off of a single 970, but for modern AAA titles, frame rates might be a little bit too low to be playable with all the details that we want to turn up. Now, G-Sync is most effective when you're actually getting a lower frame rate than your monitor's refresh rate, because if you're running at 500 FPS or something like that, your frame times, like the effective time to render each frame is so low that you're not going to experience any delays or stuttering anyway. With a resolution of 5760 by 1080 and 144 hertz monitors though, good luck getting anywhere near 144 FPS in modern titles at that resolution, pretty much no matter what video cards you're using. So G-Sync is an excellent excellent technology to be using in a situation like this, because you're pretty much guaranteed to experience screen tearing otherwise. From our testing, G-Sync worked perfectly though, even in this very intensive scenario, it was automatically enabled when it detected our monitors and produced absolutely zero screen tearing. NCIX Anthony, who's over there, say hi NCIX Anthony. 
Okay. I tried a wide range of games including Borderlands, Battlefield 4, Far Cry 4, and League of Legends. In the more intensive games like Battlefield 4 and Far Cry 4, he was seeing average frame rates of 56 to 47 FPS respectively, and in Borderlands and LoL he actually was able to average 144 FPS, but occasionally dipped down lower during firefights and things like that, which is exactly where you don't want to have graphical glitches all over your screen. It's one thing if you're just kind of cruising through that sewer level and everything's going hunky-dory and then you step out onto a battlefield where there's like 18 tanks and it's like, oh yeah, now you get all the tearing. No, this is when I don't want the tearing. So that is exactly where G-Sync comes in. So that combined with uh, BenQ's ultra low motion blur mode, uh, everyone in the studio agreed the games felt smoother compared to 60 hertz monitors, even when dipping below 60 FPS, because that's another thing that's really cool about G-Sync. If you don't see that stuttering, and if you don't see that lag, even 48 FPS actually feels a lot better than you would expect. So overall, very impressive gaming monitor from BenQ, very impressive gaming setup here. Anthony was actually able to calibrate these monitors with the Spider Elite 4 and it's uh, managed sRGB accuracy of around 95%. Not too bad, actually really good, especially for a TN monitor. And so this one and the actually the ASUS ROG Swift are perfect examples of how good a high quality TN can be these days. In fact, these are the monitors in the NCIX Land Center. We're in the NCIX Land Center where they do their, uh, their gameplay videos and Let's Plays and stuff, so there you go. We just kind of we kind of cheated and took all the monitors and like put them all together instead of having them each on different uh, different systems. So let us know below. Do you experience screen tearing? Does it bother you? Are you considering a G Sync monitor or are you gonna wait for AMD's Free Sync, which is rumored to be uh, shown off all over the place at CES this year with lots of different designs available? So let us know in the comments and as always, don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos just like this one.